It is a privilege to serve as president of Covenant Theological Seminary. As many of you in the PCA are aware, an overture, Overture 2, is coming before the General Assembly this summer from Northwest Georgia Presbytery. It seeks to, quote, release Covenant Seminary from the PCA. The overture is filled with language that makes it sound like this is something that Covenant Seminary desires. Nothing could be further from the truth. For the past 36 years, Covenant has been the denominational seminary of the Presbyterian Church in America. What this means is that we are the only seminary under the official care and oversight of the denomination. We are not independent from the churches that we serve. As Presbyterians, we are accountable to the denomination in which the majority of our graduates serve. We are deeply thankful for this relationship. We believe this accountability safeguards both the seminary and the church from wayward theology. Sadly, no one from Northwest Georgia Presbytery ever contacted any of the faculty, staff, or board members of Covenant Seminary to ask whether the overture they approved was something we desire. It is not, and our board has voted unanimously to reject it by responding in the negative. I personally called the pastor of the local church responsible for sending the overture to the presbytery level and asked him why he wanted Covenant Seminary removed from the PCA. He told me plainly that the reason the session approved it was because he thought we wanted non-elder and especially women serving as voting trustees. I told him this has never been the case. Nowhere have we said that we plan to have women serving as voting trustees. I wish he would have contacted me before drafting this overture. Not only does this overture give the misleading idea that Covenant Seminary desires to leave the PCA, we at Covenant view it to be wayward in its ambitions. I grew up in the United Presbyterian Church, the liberal northern branch of mainline Presbyterianism. After graduating from seminary, I was actually refused ordination in that denomination because of my biblical views on women not being able to be ordained to the role of elder. So I have personally seen the effects of liberal theology take hold of a denomination. Many in the PCA fear this for the future of our denomination as well. But the way to combat liberalism is not to jettison your seminary, but to stand with it. We take our mission at Covenant Seminary very seriously, to safeguard the future of the church by equipping her leaders, both in right doctrine and in right pastoral practice. We have the most rigorous process for our leadership of any seminary that I know. Every trustee has to be a teaching or ruling elder in good standing in the PCA and must be approved and elected to our board by the entire General Assembly. Each new faculty member has to undergo four interviews, including two interviews with our trustees, to ensure their doctrinal alignment with the PCA. Each president of Covenant Seminary has to be theologically examined by a committee of the General Assembly. And each faculty member has to sign a document every year that says they still hold to the inerrancy and infallibility of the Bible and still subscribe to the Westminster Standards. We are the only seminary serving the PCA that has this many safeguards to ensure the orthodoxy of its leadership. Why do we go to such lengths? Because the PCA is worth it. It's worth it to get our doctrine right so that every student who graduates from here has a chance to study under faculty members who are among the very best in the world. It's worth it to be precise in our theology so that our students are properly equipped to minister to people who are confused and hurting. It's worth it to have the oversight of the PCA to safeguard the orthodoxy of the school for the coming generations. Having a denominational seminary means that if you believe in the work of your denomination, you should stand with the work of your seminary. This is a challenging time for theological education and in our current cultural climate especially. But we believe the work the Lord began here in 1956 is worth investing in for the future. We are working hard to make our distinctive and rigorous training more accessible now than ever. We are empowering church planting, missions, and campus ministry now more than we ever have before but we need your help to continue to thrive. This is not my seminary. This is our seminary. The Lord has given it to our denomination as a resource to steward for the sake of our children and grandchildren. 
As our pastors go, so go our churches. As our churches go, so goes our denomination. You can help safeguard the future of our denomination through the work of Covenant Seminary in three ways. Pray for us, speak with us, and stand with us. First, pray for us. As with your own ministries, ministry here can be rigorous and challenging. Since this is such a strategic place for future pastors and ministry leaders, the enemy can desire to tear us apart. Second, speak with us. If you have questions, pursue us. Go to our website, ask us, so that you can make decisions based on what we actually believe and not simply based on what you might have heard. Third, stand with us in believing our Presbyterian polity. Presbyterianism is not infallible, but we believe it is good and biblical. We gladly submit ourselves to the oversight of our denomination each and every year. If we believe in our processes, then we must believe the best about each other as we all seek to teach the Word of God faithfully and in truth. I love the PCA. I love Covenant Seminary. I love knowing that we have a denomination that cares about getting theology and practice right before sending men into ministry. It is our duty and our delight to steward this mission for the future of our church.